We're running a test of the Federal HST, Federal Premium Tactical 40 Smith & Wesson 165 grain jacket hollow point. This is not the tactical bonded. So we have a non-bonded bullet. Wanted to get that out of the way. Product number on this box of 50 rounds is P40 HST3. In all tests of the HST that I've run up to this point in this format, we've had pretty good results. So we hope we can continue with that. Advertised muzzle velocity is 1,130 feet per second. This is, uh, as you can see, it says Glock 32, 357 SIG, but with the barrel swap out, I have made that into a Glock 23. So four inch barrel, five shot average from 10 feet. There are the numbers. Give you a second to check that out. And now the five shot average. 1,113 feet per second. That equates to 454 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. And typically when I'm shooting 165s versus 180s in the 40, the 165s uh, seem to give me a little bit more recoil, but that was not the case with this load. Very pleasant to shoot. So next up is the test shot with the SIM test media calibrated to match the specs of 10% ordnance gelatin and four layers of denim. That is an IWBA testing protocol. Good shot placement, no pass through on the 22 inch 50 pound block. Okay, here we go, and I apologize for the lawnmower noise in the background. Some of my neighbors don't have a life and insist on cutting their grass at least once a day. So we have the point of entry here. This is the right side of the block. We're going to spend just a quick moment here to show the best impression of this permanent stretch cavity. We've got uh, about five and a half inches in length coming into right over here. Averaging about an inch to three quarters of an inch in width. It is a half inch deep and there's just a lot you're not really seeing here unless I peel this back. But pretty compact on that channel, which leads me to think that the HST is going to have some pretty good expansion, but not just really blowing it out. So there's the right side. Let's move up here to where we have pretty much a complete path. Again, just replicating that. Five and a half inches, about an inch wide, half inch deep on both sides. So you're looking at a channel that's approximately one inch in diameter. So let's go back to our measurements. Running 10, 11, 12, 14, up to 15, and 16. A little bit deeper than what I, what I expected, but the block is right at the high end of calibration at 3.72 inches. I'm getting 16 and a half inches. Look down here on this side, you can see where I split the block. The base was embedded right here. Looks pretty good on the expansion. Let's see, we have. Take a look at that. We'll get some measurements and close up in just a moment. So, 16 and a half inches. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm seeing just a little bit of a plug of denim in that cavity, but did not prevent it from expanding. There's the high mark on expansion, but our average is 0.628 inches. I've given this a warm bath to get everything cleaned out, but we're still coming in a little heavy. 165.9 grains. With the 165 grain HST, we have excellent velocity, manageable recoil in the Glock 23 platform, and minimal muzzle flash. Excellent penetration, uniform expansion. So Federal keeps reminding us that this ammo is indeed premium. I think the only problem is going to be availability. I can only find it online, and I realize that due to asinine regulations in some areas, you can't order it online or have it delivered to you. Good luck, and thanks for watching.